So this is the DIY auto rocker circuit as it is today. Uh, it's been transferred from the breadboard and it's to a solder breadboard. Um, this is a 555 timer operated PWM circuit and a MOSFET to drive this uh, seat motor. This is a 12 volt power seat motor from a Mercedes Benz. Um, it's a high torque motor. It spins pretty quickly, so the PWM circuit is necessary to keep the um, speed at a stable amount and an adjustable one. Um, and then over here, the pulley, which is it's a kind of an interim pulley right now. It's just for proof of concept. It's constructed out of some scrap plastic and a couple of CDs. And then this is like a lag screw for a dowel. Uh, so, as you can see, I'll just plug it in here, and uh, so there it is running, and speed control varies the speed from very fast to very slow to stop. It's very stable and can be used to walk, to uh, rock a wide variety of of things. Basically, w the way this works is you uh, attach a rubber band to the piece of furniture you want to rock, and then you just adjust the speed control to match the period of the natural uh, simple harmonic motion <laughs> of the furniture that you're trying to rock, basically, using this adjustment. And then if you want to change the amount of power that goes to it, you can either change the distance uh, of, the, of the rocking device here, or you can move this bolt to, you know, in towards the center or further out. Uh, as far as the circuit goes, I basically used this uh, example PWM circuit, which is 555 timer based, pretty much verbatim. Uh, the only things I changed, I changed three components. Um, this MOSFET is, let's see, it's a NTE2985 instead of an IRF Z46N. Um, the, let's see, this pot is 100K on this uh, schematic. I changed it to a 50K just for, to put it in the right range. And I changed this capacitor down here. It was a 0.1 mic. It's now a one mic. And I did that because it was making a hellacious whining, which is probably if you want a finer control of speed, but this bulky motor does not need a very fine control of speed at all. It just needs a, it's got so much mass or inertia that uh, the lower frequency is way quieter and way better for this circuit. So there you have it. The DIY baby auto rocker in its probably final form or somewhere around there. Actually, I've got a few ideas about how I can improve it. Um, the, obviously, this pulley needs to be replaced with something a little bit more serious. And I was thinking about printing a printing up a, a nice pulley that I'd design in some kind of CAD. But we'll see. I don't know if I get time to do that. Um, other thing is it needs some rubber feet for the bottom because it kind of transmits the noise through the floor of the motor. That's it.